So today we are looking at two mid-range phones with both having around the same price at its release date. But with the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE being out longer, it is now cheaper around $270. So that is at least a $100 difference. In this video I will show you the difference and give you my opinion which one I would buy. But also give you a reason why the other one would be the better pick. Now when we look at both devices in terms of design, the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE and the Mate 20 Lite look very similar, where both have a glass back, a dual camera setup where the second camera is a depth sensor and both having a notch, which on both doesn't look good because, well, it's a notch. However, if we look past that, the phones do differ quite a bit, where the Mi 8 SE seems to go for a bit sharper design with the corners being sharper but also the frame being less round which helps with the feel in the device, because it doesn't feel as slippery as the Mate 20. But in terms of design, the Mate 20 Lite feels more uniform and more sophisticated. Now apart from that, the Huawei Mate 20 Lite has a much larger display with it being a 6.3 inch Full HD Plus panel compared to a 5.8 inch Full HD Plus panel on the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE, meaning that the device is almost 10mm shorter on the Xiaomi side. But that comes at a price as well, because the battery size of 3750mAh dwells that of the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE that comes in at 3120mAh. And at the end of the day you will notice this, the battery life on the Mate 20 Lite is much better. But that's not it, the Mate 20 Lite also has more options than the Mi 8 SE, because you will have a headphone jack and a micro SD slot, where the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE does not. So your base of 64GB is the max you can have on the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE. And if we look what they both use in terms of hardware, it is a very similar story but also very different. The Xiaomi Mi 8 SE uses the Snapdragon 710 which is based on a 10 nanometer process, 4GB of RAM and like I said 64GB of internal memory. But the Huawei Mate 20 Lite uses their own chip inside that is made by Huawei with the Kirin 710 and based on a 12 nanometer process. It also has 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal memory which you can expand via the microSD. In terms of which chip is better, well the Qualcomm 710 outperforms the Kirin 710 and while in day to day use you won't notice it, in my own experience I never had lags on the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE where I did when the battery was low on the Huawei Mate 20 Lite. Again, I'm not sure if this is down to low battery and the Huawei putting on a power save mode and making the CPU slower, but this is what I experienced with the phone itself. And then we have to talk about the cameras as well. And while the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE camera does a lot with its software helping it out, and I'm not talking only about AI here, I have to say that overall the Xiaomi does outperform the Huawei Mate 20 Lite. It has a better dynamic range and its saturation is better controlled on Xiaomi, apart from video that is where it is somehow switched around. However, with that being said, the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE can have its problems with the camera, which I highlighted in the review as well, with sometimes getting a green screen or some weird effects on limited pictures as well. But I still think that overall I would pick the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE above the Mate 20 Lite. In terms of video I also have to give it to the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE, not by a lot but I do have to give it to them, it is more stable, however the saturation is way too much on the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE, so if you prefer having more natural colors in terms of video recording I will go for the Mate 20 Lite. And then when we look at low light shots, the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE and the Mate 20 Lite have a very different approach. The Mate 20 Lite is making pictures softer leading to less grain. Where on the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE it tends to be sharper but have more grain in return, which can be best shown in this single picture. They are both also not the most consistent when it comes to low light shots, with the Mi 8 SE mostly switching between proper colors and then some warm tones. I think at the end if we have to summarize the cameras, the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE has a lot of software intervention. So it does a lot with its software trying to create the best picture it can and you will notice this where the Mate 20 Lite goes for a more natural feel, however it can lead to the lesser picture. At the end I think both devices perform pretty well, however the price of the Huawei Mate 20 Lite is a bit too high. But in terms of bang for its buck, I would have to give it to the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE, which is cheaper by about $100 at the time of recording, but beats it with the CPU and the camera as well in my opinion. 
But with that being said, there are some reasons to pick the Mate 20 Lite over the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE. It has the headphone jack and it has a micro SD slot, which is a must for me. And not to mention that the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE doesn't have a global version. But in all fairness, with this competitive market around this price, I honestly wouldn't go for the Huawei Mate 20 Lite. There are some better options out there, like the Honor Play or maybe the Nokia 7 Plus. So, which one would you pick at the end? Let me know in the comments below and talk to you guys in the next.